Hello, Air Signs. This is Dee, and I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to my channel where you receive divine guidance and encouragement. To my current and new subscribers, thank you for your support. It is greatly appreciated. Air Signs, this is a general reading for you from the Angels of Abundance Oracle cards, which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. So let's get to your message. God most high. Whoa. Angel spirit guides, beings of love and light, the Holy Spirit. What is the message for the air signs as for their greatest and highest good? And this is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius from the Angels of Abundance Oracle cards. All right. Let's see what you're working with, air signs. Let's see what you're working with. Focus on your priorities. Mm. Well, <laughs> where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, air signs, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. So again, even a small amount of time, air signs, devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. So take a proactive action and address them. Stop ignoring your priorities and putting them off for tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. No, today, take one small step today to take action towards addressing a priority and you'll realize how much you'll get accomplished. Just a little at a time will make a difference and it really truly does. You just have to start somewhere, just start. All right, air signs, so Let's get your extended message on focus on your priorities. Sometimes we all get off track. I've gotten off track myself too, you know, and I as well take the proactive action of doing a little at a time, a little every day, just chip away by doing one thing a day as it relates to your priorities, just something and you're going to see that it makes a major difference that before you're done, before you know it, excuse me, let me slow down, before you know it, you know it, you'll be done with your priorities. Everything will be in order just like you want it to. So you receive this card, Air Signs, because the angels are trying to help you to stay on track with your priority projects. You've been distracted as the ego tries to pull you away from your divine destiny. So you've been distracted lately, some of you, air signs. This card is a call to you to detox from distractions and get to work. You won't have time to be playing around, air signs. So this card, this message is a call to you to detox from distractions and get to work. You gotta get to work, air signs. You were born to fulfill functions that bring peace to the earth. And it begins with you being at peace with yourself. The fastest and most effective way to feel peaceful is to align your actions with your beliefs. That means walking your talk or only doing things that are meaningful to you. So again, the only way to align yourself in the most effective and fastest way to feel peaceful is to align your actions with your beliefs. That means walking the talk. So putting your actions or you know how they say it, put your money where your mouth is. Yes, that's how they say it. So put your money where your mouth is. 
your sons. So do things that are meaningful to you that will keep you from getting off track. Perhaps your distractions has stemmed from work or family obligations. It's important to remind yourself that taking care of yourself is also one of your primary responsibilities. Oh, child, I'm gonna just read that again. It's important to remind yourself, air signs, that taking care of yourself is also one of your primary responsibilities. You are responsible for taking good care of yourself, air signs. Rather than making sure you take care of everyone else and neglecting yourself. If you've been doing that, this card is coming to encourage you to discontinue doing that. And I believe we all fall into that from time to time. And then we receive a divine reality check to say, you have to make sure that you take care of yourself first. You are a priority. If you're not well in any way, shape or form, it's going to affect others around you. And most importantly, it's going to be detrimental to you. So air signs, it's important that you remind yourself that taking care of yourself is also one of your primary, primary responsibilities. Fortunately, you can make a lot of progress by devoting consistent time to your priorities. Even 30 minutes a day can result in a masterful accomplishments, accomplishment. And that's true. Even if it's 10 minutes a day, any time devoted to a particular task will help you to accomplish it. Just stay consistent. You do have 30 minutes a day if you purge your schedule of non-essentials. So if you just disengage, you know, remove non-essential things from your schedule, you know what they are, and focus your time and attention on completing your task or projects that you feel are meaningful. Focus on your priorities. So you can start by doing just that. If it's calling to you, if it's resonating with you, set aside 30 minutes a day or 15 minutes a day to, to actually focus on your priorities. Purge your schedule. And you can purge your schedule by setting timelines. Um, one thing I used to do when like my children were young. So when I would come home for work, I would make sure that I start their, their work with their schoolwork and then progress into making dinner, getting them prepared for their um, school the next day, et cetera, et cetera. So I had this routine that I would follow when I would come home from work so that I would stay on task and I would stay, would keep my uh, priorities in order because I found that if I would allow myself to perhaps engage in like a girl's conversation after getting home from work, that it would just throw my schedule off completely, right? And before I knew it, everything was getting off track. So I had to just make sure I stayed on track with my schedule by having girl talk after I took care of all of my priorities that ranked number one, which started with taking care of making sure my children were attended to first. That was priority. Not that they were never priority. It was just that if I got distracted by engaging in a girl's talk 
conversation after work, it just knocked my schedule off. It just, you know, my schedule went left. Then I was like, oh my gosh, et cetera, et cetera. And then, you know, after a couple times, I was like, okay, I have to change the way I'm doing this. Girls Talk is just going to have to wait until everything else is all taken care of. And so that's what I did. There were even times where I would not even turn on television, not even for myself until everything was done that needed to be done, you know, settling my children down, et cetera, et cetera. So television, there was no television. Homework time, no television. Not for my children or myself. So that was very helpful for me. So I hope this is helping someone. So I'm just saying, these are some things that I have done to help me to focus on my priorities as I engage, you know, with you know, taking care of my family. And so I'm not saying that this is what you need to do. I'm sharing what is coming to my heart to share. Hopefully it will help you and hopefully this will encourage you. So air signs, focus on your priorities. Where you put your focus is where you will, will receive your outcome. I was allowing myself to get distracted with girls, girls talk and that was taking my focus away from my priorities and that that outcome that I received was not what I wanted. So I had to reprioritize. I did that and things began to flow much smoother. So where you put your focus, air signs, is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention they and you need and deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities, air signs, will help you feel better and more confident. And that's facts. That's facts. I can vouch for that a thousand percent. So air signs, I'm going to leave you here with this message. I hope it has been helpful. Thank you for watching. If you are not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join us here. Until the next time, everyone take good care of yourselves. Like, comment, share, turn on your notification notification bell and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.